gives the ball away. Good pressure from Conor Melville and the big German centre half clears his line. That's a great move by Scott, it's unlucky. That was a clever little move. And Georgia clear the lines, but it's a scad throwing deep into the Georgia half. Shunty comes to get, claim the ball at feet. And he beats his man well. And he's gone deep to Torrin on the bat. He wins a header. And the keeper comes out, it falls. Sergio Suarez. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's a good effort. Sergio Suarez on his weaker foot, forcing on the edge of the 18-yard box, and he sees the keeper was off his line. So he tries to play a clever little dink over the keeper, and it just hits the top of the net. It's a good effort. Now George come out with the ball, but Taylor sees the danger and just cuts it out. Theo Angus showing his, the strong side of his game there. Plays, it out. plays a great ball. That's a great ball by the German. Jordan Trinity lines on the end of it. First touch. Oh, and that's an excellent goal. Excellent goal. And what a great ball by Oliver that was. The German spots Jordan's run. Plays a great ball with his left foot over the top. And it was a great run by Jordan. And a clever little finish. Takes it inside in his first touch. Brings the keeper, draws the keeper out. The keeper falls and Jordan just a little delightful little dink over the top of him. 2-0 Scad with just over five minutes gone of the game. And Jordan will give the ball away cheaply once again and here comes Scad. Oh, it's a heavy touch from Jordan but back once again Naeem picks it up. Middle Georgia are struggling here to get out their own half, but it's just from great pressure and great work from the SCAD team. Here comes Theo Angus, this is where he's dangerous, running. Great little piece of skill. And he's gone back to the edge, Jordan, and it's a great ball, Yanaki, great touch. Oh, it's another great move from SCAD, this is great to watch. And it's going to be a corner, and the number seven, Tora Melville, is going over to take the corner. Be an in-swinger here with his left foot. The two big centre halves coming up. And he's gone short on the edge of the field with his left foot. Brings one in, but that's easy for the keeper. And he plays the ball up quickly. And there's Naeem across once again. It's like a ball there in the centre midfield. Endless energy, Naeem. And Scatter back in possession. And Josh Brown gets his second touch of the game. Just plays it out to Sergi, who's gone into a full back position. And Anaki's gone in across into the centre half position. Oh, well, that was good pressure from Georgia. But the ball is deflected and gone back into Josh's hands. Josh taking his time a little bit here. Goes long to Jordan Trinity line. I'm sure. Oh, he lost the header this time. It's not often you see that. It's great pressure again from Naeem. And a great, clever little run. And this is the third. We're going to see him, Naeem. It's great skill. He beats his man with ease, but the fullback gets back well. And it's another sky corner. That was the first look of Naeem. Running with the ball. Very skillful player. Well, that was a miss kick on the corner by Tony Melville. He holds his hands up and I'm sure his teammates will just be fine with that. And it's a goal kick for Georgia.
The B shape has been very impressive early doors. Very good, very disciplined. And Taylor wins another header. Not a lot of pressure. And Jordan's fast feet winning the free kick. Just inside the Georgia half. Sergi Suarez is. Is he going to go for Yeah, he's going to go forward for this. And also the big German, Oliver. They have the two big lads up again. Taylor's overlapped and Neil's seen a great run. And the ball comes out round to Tolomeville. Neil plays the ball long to the back to Sergio Suarez, but there's no challenge in the Georgia yeah. midfield that picks the ball up. Naki breaks down the play. As Georgia clear the lines, Masha just run through to Josh. Well done, Josh. Well done, Josh Bell. Great ball field. Now it's Taylor with a few yards of space to run into. He takes advantage of that. And AJ picks the ball up off him. Oh, he tries to play a ball. A little bit forced, I would say. He had a bit more time there, Taylor. But at the same time, he had no one talking to him around. The only voice I could hear was Tom Melville's. But Scab back in possession with Sergio Suarez. Dios goes wide to Taylor Katsanas. Tony Melville opens up, but he goes inside instead. That's another great move. That's unlucky. And Georgia come away with the ball from the number 23. Quite a good start, but he's died out the game now. He seems to be giving the ball away a lot. Yeah, they didn't really change. Yeah. This is the first bit of a uh, pressure Scad have really been under from Georgia. Yeah, yeah. How do you do that? Oh, referee, he's all over him. Yeah, oh, so the whistle goes. The Scad free kick. <coughs> the Georgia centre forward climbing up the back of Sergio Suarez there. Looks like Josh is going to go along with this. Yes, I just told his teammates to get high. So I'm guessing he's going to be heading for Jordan, Trinity line. He'll get the pace of AJ off the flick on, maybe. That's what we're looking at. Oh, but he's just, just misses out on the header. And here's Yaki. Scad seems to be forcing on the ball a little bit now. Georgia back in possession. But well read by Taylor. He stepped up perfectly for that. Oh, it's great feet by the, the junior. It's unlucky. He's tried to play a pass across to Jordan Chambers. But just gets dispossessed by the Georgia centre half. Georgia play the ball out to the right fullback. Uh, plays a miss pass and Scad just picked that up. With Oliver who plays the ball out to Jordan Chambers. Okay. Scad playing a bit of keep ball now. It's nice to see Phil Angus getting in really involved in this game early on. Back up a little bit. As I said, a few seconds ago, Scada just forcing the ball a little bit. Ah, very good. Two blue. Oh, two. Ball back in possession. Move Sergi Suarez. Mayim comes in and picks the ball up. He's got, sure, he's got the space he's got. He's picking the ball up with 10, 15 yards of space. He has time to turn. He almost has too much time. He's down top of that. He plays a good ball inside the Trinity. Yeah. Trinity goes wide and back to Naeem to Sergi. Sergi goes out to Taylor. Taylor goes back to Sergi. Good bit of possession there. Okay. Sergi goes long, but it's not a great ball. And that just rolls through to the Georgia keeper. As we were talking about them forcing it a little bit. When they're playing football, it's beautiful from Scad. The Georgia team can't get near them. But I feel that they're forcing the ball because of how much time they actually have. We've got the 
down to Naeem. Aveo picking the ball up with 20 yards of space around him. It's almost too much time. <coughs> but it's a Georgia free kick. Deep in their own half. Uh, just play the ball out to the right full back. Plays the ball long, but Oliver will pick that up all day. It's good strength out on Melville. Great football. Great one-two from Taylor and Theo. And Taylor picks the ball back up. Taylor's away. It's all over him. Well, well spotted referee. I didn't think he was going to see that. Had a handful of Taylor's shirt. Good talking by Theo. It's against Taylor Melville away on the left. Oh. It's a clever little play. Started from a quick free kick on the left-hand side. Tom Melville shot down the line and played a dangerous ball across the goal and then Mackie was inches away from poking at home and that would have been 3-0 to Scad. But in a blink of an eye, Scad are back in possession. Jordan Chambers with a throw in. Trinity Lyon comes in. Great little touch and just lays it back off to Jordan Chambers who goes up to the, up the right wing. It drops it back to Jordan. And Jordan goes inside to Naeem. Naeem goes out wide to Taylor. A bit forced there by Torrin. But once again, Scad straight back in. Scad back in possession. Taylor plays a good ball inside. And Georgia clear the lines. Uh, number 16 has got some space to run into, but he decides against it. Gives it to the right winger who comes inside. And he plays a terrible ball. And Scard once again back in possession. It's a good little ball. Georgia back in possession. And they'll keep it. Oh, it's high pressure. Oof. Georgia were lucky then. Their centre half played a pass to their left full back, but played it behind him. And Jordan Chambers read him like a book. He was onto him quickly, but he just caught man instead of ball. And it's a Georgia free kick. And they play long. And Sergi wins a header. And Scad back in possession with Anaki in the right full back position. It seems like Scad are changing their right winger and right full back a lot with Anaki and Jordan Chambers. They seem to be have a good relationship and a good understanding of each other. When Amaki overlaps and goes, Jordan sits in and vice versa. And it's been effective for Scott, I must say. And Georgia back in possession. Just inside the Scott's half. And Ryan's putting pressure on him. And they've just been forced back into their own half. Good pressure from Scott. And once again, they play a long ball. Sergio Suarez wins the header, but it only goes as far as the number 23. He bursts in, plays a good ball out wide. And Jordan Chambers breaks down the play, passes to Anaki. What to give here? It's a scad ball. With his hands on AJ. Well spotted referee, and it's a scad free kick on the halfway line. fans out today watching the game. Fellow students come to show their, uh, the support of Scott. Oh! Oh no! And that can only go down to a mistake from the goalkeeper. Josh Brown had all the time in the world. And out of nowhere came the Georgia, is it the right winger? Josh has a little bit of a heavy touch and the Georgia winger takes the ball off him and just slots the ball home. That's 2-1 to Scard. But, but with visit, but sorry. But the home team being very much in charge here. But it's 2-1. 
And Josh goes long this time to AJ. To oh, I don't think there's a lot in that personally, referee. It's a good 50-50, but it's a scad ball, so I'm happy. And Taylor takes a switch to Jordan Chambers. It's a great touch by Jordan. Goes to AJ, great touch. Great touch by AJ, out wide to Inaki. Inaki's got time. He goes deep. There's no talking. Oh, unlucky. Jordan Chambers heads the ball back across the goal. And AJ headers that goal, but he just puts it wide of the right hand post. That was a Georgia free kick. Georgia must be feeling lucky that they're still in this game. But they are very much in this game now. The scoreline 2 1. That's a good header by Oliver. It's back to a purple shirt. Scad, and Naki's got some room to run into now, and he does that. Oh, it's a bit of a heavy pass. Terry's coming inside. Oh, it's a great, clever little ball by Theo. Great touch. And he stays involved in the plays over the, around the back post. Oh, it's a good ball by John Chambers. Oh. And the offside flag was up anyway. The referee did spot it. But it's a George goal kick. He starts fast. And he goes up to the left full back. Georgia right winger comes inside for Oliver, who's on his back. Oof, and well played, Sergio Suarez. Good touch, vital. Oh, it was a clever run by Jordan. Very clever run. It's a shame that one missed. Taylor goes out wide with Naki. Naki's going to. Oh, great challenge. And that's a scab ball, surely. Yes, well done, linesman. Well done, Naki. Just going back to Jordan Trinity Lines run. I tell you what, that was a very, very smart run. Drop of a shoulder, comes forward before the defender knew it. Jordan was 10 yards on the other side of the defender. The defender left for dead. But unfortunately, his run went un uh, unnoticed by Theo Angus. That's offside. the voice of Tom Melville you can hear over there asking the official for an explanation about the offside good work by AJ he just gets clipped oh, he looks okay to me and George takes the throw down the line Taylor gets across and wins a header that was in the back well done referee So a little over 20 minutes played here, and it's still 2-1 to the Bees. And they're certainly much a better side here. But it was just a mistake from Josh Brown who's let them back in the game. And I'm sure Georgia will be feeling the happier of the two teams just because they're so lucky to be in this game. And all the possession has been scad. Naeem back on the ball there. He's died out the game a little bit in the last 15 minutes. Started very well, but it seems to be getting bypassed a little bit right now. And suddenly a couple of holes have uh, developed in the midfield for Georgia. I can't say they capitalized on them too well. Bit of a tussle in the center. Jordan trying to line, get to that. Oh, I tell you what, referee. That's not a good decision. Jordan turns the line, tracking back there for the ball. Wins the ball fairly, but the ref gives it a Georgia free kick. And the ball goes over to the penalty spot, and it's away by Sergio Suarez. Just to the edge of the 18 yard box. Well done, Tony Melville. Clears his lines, but it's still a Georgia throw in deep in the scad half. It's a good little turn by the Georgia centre midfielder. He plays to the five, he's got himself into a bit of trouble. Gives the ball away. 
AJ, oof. Jordan just keeps ball, goes back to Oliver, and Oliver to Josh. And Josh out to Taylor. Taylor back to Oliver. He's just gonna go back. And he goes back to Oliver. That's a better decision by Josh. Jordan turns with acres of room. Naeem, Jinx on the edge of the box. Oof! Naeem picked a ball up there and there's probably two or three scab players around him and they're giving him no direction what to do. They need to talk more of the scab players. He didn't know if he could turn, there was no call. But Naeem does well, he beats his man and manages to get a shot off and forces a corner. And Tony Melville swings a great corner into the penalty box. But it's good defending. And the Georgia right full back and he clears his lines. And Georgia come away now on the break. They got their 25. But Naeem gets back. Breaks down possession, but Georgia entering the SCAD half once again. And Aki kicks out. Just clips a Georgia player and he gets a free kick. Just about on the halfway line. Well, the conditions tonight, are, I must say, are perfect. In the three years I played at SCAD, it was nights like this we loved, especially as European boys. Obviously, not being used to the blistering heat. Taylor dives in, and it's a goal kick. As I was saying, the soaring conditions we play in, us British boys, we do struggle a little bit, and we used to thrive off a night like this, and always put in a, I'd say, our better performances at night. And especially when it's this mild. Anyway, back to the game. A goal kick for Scad. Josh Brown clears his lines and he aims on Jordan Trinity line. All day, great flick. And he gets the call for in the back. Well done, Jordan. Scad just need to relax here. It's Phil Angus on the free kick. Good run by AJ, the great ball by Theo. Well, on the left hand side, Theo Angus with the throw in. AJ's in acres of space. Theo comes short, plays a good ball back to Taylor, and Taylor gets wide. Oh, should have taught that. Theo on his right foot as he's dangerous here. Gets a shot off, but it just goes wide of the right post. A good 15, 15, 20 foot wide, but it's a good move by SCAD. I must say that SCAD's number 18, AJ, the Alabama boy, what a great two games he's had. The last two games have been here. His work rate is unbelievable. His touch has been great, his running's been great, he's right here now, closing down their full back, forced them into a problem, and he's involved again. Makes a great run, but just ran out of energy for this one, but there you go, closing down again. It's been a pleasure to watch the last couple of games. It's, like I said, his work rate is second to none. A great turn of pace by Theo Angus at the middle. Oh, referee was that a pull, pull of the shirt, Jordan Chambers? Referee says no, and Georgia come away with the ball. Tries to go over the top, it's a clever little ball, it's a good run by the 21. And it's a bad cross. And Tottenham Melville comes down. There we go, that's good, good play. Don't rush it. Excellent. And Oliver's made a great run. Oh. 
What's, one and one, Germans one and one here. Boys, good defending, good defending. Olive's venture, ventured up the field, gets one and one. Naeem just sits in for him. Uh, the big German slowly getting back in position. More incapable there, Oliver, one on one. More incapable. Technically sound player. Oh, but he gives a free kick away there. <laughs> That's just from being a little bit tired after his, uh, his 50 yard dash. <coughs> right, he just gives a foul away, but it's on the halfway line. Nothing too dangerous to Scott to deal with. And George get the ball underway for the right full back. That's a terrible ball. Just play the ball where just. I don't even look where he's kicking it. Kind of tilt it a little bit. I'd like to see another goal from Scad. Just hit it to light more, more. More. Ah, two goal cushion more. again. And Jordan turns the line on the on the okay. left hand side, goes back inside to AJ. Good ball, AJ. And Ianaki pushes forward this time with his great first touch. Oh, and Aki's just made a 40 yard run and he's got himself back into position Jordan makes a run this time that's going to roll through to the keeper and he's played fast he's out rolls it out to the left fullback and the number 8 now who's not really been in the game he may have oh he wasn't the goal scorer actually it was a 21 Well done, Tony Melville. That's a Georgia throw in. Just under 15 minutes left in the first half. Good header by Taylor, clearing his lines for another Georgia free, uh, a throw in, sorry. Got some activity on the bench. Looks like we're having Seth warming up and Will. Will's put this game tap on. Looks like he's coming on. Just going out for the warm up. Maybe we're going to see a glimpse of Will Oswin for the last 10 minutes of the game. Well, of the first half, should I say. Great ball on Aki. Tony Melville by it. Clever little run there, but went unnoticed. And Oliver comes out with the ball. And now Tony Melvin does get the ball, it's good control. And Naeem calmly gets the ball. Aldoniaki in a good overlap from Jordan Chambers. Plays it. Ooh, AJ Speed gets him in front of the keeper, and it, there was a clip of the heels. But AJ didn't go down, he was honest about it. Oh, that's a free kick. AJ, workhorse, wins got a free kick. His initial run from Jordan Chambers' ball was very clever and the speed got him in front of the keeper. As I said, the keeper had a clip of his heels, but AJ was very honest and stayed on his feet. And he's won a free kick for Scard. Probably 25 yards out. And I'd like to see if he was out. Angus his left foot on this, which I'm sure we will. Yeah, there's three men around the ball. And it's Naeem, left full back, and AJ gets the ball. Cuts inside, but it's a good challenge. No, referee. And a bit of acrobat there by Taylor, but the whistle's gone. That's a Georgia free kick. Yes, the scoreline may be 2-1, but there's only been one team in this game, really. Scott have been so dominant. But the main problem is probably been a little too easy for them at times. And they've just forced the ball when they haven't needed to. So 
Oh, it was a good run by Theo Angus, but maybe it was a little direct. Good, good feet by Naeem. And the ball's out to the left full back. Taylor's cuts, cuts inside, which he's been doing a lot today. And it's been dangerous. Good touch by Trincy, and it's unlucky. Maybe he should have been a bit more greedy there. That's a scud free kick. A little bit of confusion there. But it is a scud free kick. Keep the ball, Taylor. Well done. Jordan from his feet. Just loses his man and plays a, plays a great switch. Jordan Chambers out on the right. And Naki goes back to Sergio Suarez. His first touch in a, in a while. Shows how little he's had to do today. And Taylor does his trademark cut inside again. He's still got the ball. He plays a good ball to Jordan. Jordan. Oh, he swings at the volley. But he just doesn't catch it. It's unlucky from Jordan Trinity Lyon. It's a good performance so far from the two forwards. And it's also been a great performance so far from the SCAD captain, Theo Angus. Been getting on the ball a lot. He's very dangerous. He's both right and left footed. And it's a SCAD attack here on the right hand side with Jordan Chambers. Just keeps ball, starts going with Naki. Still in the. Oh, and he goes back to Sergi. Sergi Suarez goes across to his fellow centre half, the big German Oliver. Oh, the flag stays down. Oh, that's unlucky. I think that was offside anyway. But the flag did stay down, and Jordan Chambers was unfortunate not to go through one on one there. Well played, Anaki. He breaks down the play again and keeps it in. Sergi Suarez should surely play the cut. Yes, there we go. Goes across to Taylor. Is Taylor going to do a drop of the shoulder? Yes, he does. On a, oh, on a clever ball on the outside of his foot. And that's unlucky. Torrey Melville, good confidence. I like that. Cut the shot. Oh, that's a bad ball from the Georgia right winger. Looking for their goal scorer. And there is going to be some two changes. It looks like it's going to be Torrin Melville on. And who's going to be coming on? The young sophomore, Seth. And it's going to be Sese Zaretta who's coming on the left hand side for Torrin Melville. Great touch by Jordan Trinsline, just on the halfway line. It goes out well to outside well to Jordan Chambers. It comes back inside. Plays a good crossfield ball for Sasse's first touch of the game. He brings it down. And he just plays to the Spaniard. Well, that was unlucky. Jordan Chambers trying to back heel. Where he just puts it out for a Georgia throw in. Seven minutes left, well just over. Uh, it's still 2-1. Scott have just taken their, uh, the foot off the gas a little Coming bit right now. Scad, number 23, I'd like Seth to see Fight. him apply a little bit more pressure. And number 12. And here comes the Oh, Ooh, well that's unlucky. He wins the ball back, number 11. And Sasse's second touch of the game. And he just comes to keep the ball. Goes to the Spaniard once again. He goes out wide to Jordan Chambers. Here comes Jordan Chambers. Plays a good ball inside to AJ. And AJ gets on his bike. God, he's quick. This lad's quick. But it's good defending. Good defending by the George centre half. AJ trying to win the ball back. And um, once again, this is hard, hard work. Forces an error. It's a scud 
Throwing on the halfway line, and Taylor plays into AJ's feet. And this time, Samson Arthur's miles away from him. And Jordan Chambers getting a lot of the ball in this first half. Sadie Suarez on the ball. Back to Jordan Chambers. Back to Sergi. He's got to take a good crossfield ball to Taylor. Taylor's got 20 yards of space in front of him now, and he does get into that space. But he gives the ball away, and now he's quite out of position. But Sassy's Sassy's just stepped in for him, and once again, the number eight, who hasn't particularly had a good game, he's just give the ball away. Sassy's kept everything very simple since he's been on. Not giving the ball away yet. That's actually been given by Coach Melville. That's a good little ball by Sess, first part of the game. Sphere Angus out wide. Drops the ball back into Jordan Chambers. I must say, I've seen a lot of the ball this half. Tonight, the ball, Taylor's open. Oh, it's a heavy pass, but my aim recovers for AJ. Oh. Sassy's on the ball now. Gives it into Jordan's face. Good move. Oh, Taylor. Taylor's a. Yes, yeah, good. They're alone in the box. So Taylor's just gone back into Sassy. He goes out wide to Jordan Chambers. And he does manage to keep her in. Seth now. Gets dispossessed. Good little feet by number 16. But Seth's closing him down. And he does win the ball back. Well played, sir. Oh, but that's referee. There was nothing in that. Good hustle there by Seth. And just over four minutes left. Still 2 1 to the bees. I must say the game is, has gone a little flat right now. I feel Scott just want to see out the half. And Come again, come out second half, blazing again. And this is a good move. Sasse tries to dink the keeper. He doesn't do enough. And Jordan, another good run of Jordan to the lines, goes unnoticed there. Sasse went for the extravagant chip. It uh, just didn't pay off. That's going to bounce. Oh, and the number six in. A good cover by Sergio Suarez. And that's a free kick. He's all over him, referee. But the centre half has got to be so careful there. There was no coverage really, there was no sweeper. And they're letting the ball bounce in behind them. It's from lack of communication. There comes away Trincy. AJ makes a good run. Oh. And AJ falls. I don't know why that number 19 is laughing because he's had an appalling game so far. AJ's took him on 90% of the time. There's a pat on the back. Good sportsmanship from the 19 there. The scout back in possession with Naeem. Who has gone a little bit quiet as well. There we go. That's better communication from the bees. Oh, but it's a... George has seen a little bit more possession now. Obviously not as much as Scad, but they are slowly grinding their way back into this game. Scad just need to be a little bit careful now. Obviously they haven't threat too much, but the more possession they get, maybe the more chances. Scad need to maybe up the tempo a little bit. They go along. This time Scad don't let the ball bounce. It's a good clearance by Taylor Katsanis. Come on, put them under pressure now. They're being neg negative. It's a bit more possession now, but <coughs> it's good pressure from Seth. Maybe push a little bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's the pressure. Seth picks the ball up. 
Time, time, Sasse. Sasse plays the ball into Trinity's feet. Oh, and <laughs> a bit of acrobats from the uh, goalkeeper there. I'm not sure if he needed to do that, but it was a shot from Jordan Trinity line. Um, for me, it looks like he could have <laughs> just caught the ball, but he jumps up. Seen a couple of flashes from the cameras and tips the ball over the, over the bar. And Sasse's looking for the ball. There I go, I'll do, I'll do it. I'm just on the run here. Doing the job of the ball boy as well. Straight test. You can see by my pass there, I've lost it, lost my touch. A bit of stick from John McLean and Lloyd. Wouldn't expect anything less from. Oh! Shane Lloyd couldn't make himself useful. Maybe do the ball boy job. Something for uh, Coach Melville to think about there. That'll teach you for laughing, Lloyd. And it's a George ball. There's 26 seconds left. It's going to be 2 1 at the break. 2 1 to Scadbees. And I think the break's come at a good time, to be honest. Because they're slowly allowing the visitors back in the game. And they're growing with confidence as the first half's gone on. And it's a free kick, and that'll be the last play of the first half. Substituted and it's the first time we're going to see Ali of the season. It's wishing well. To all the best, Ali. And let's go, bees. <laughs> George get the game back underway. Quickly chip the ball to the left full back, who puts it back into the centre half. And then the switch ball to the right full back. Sessa gets a cross. Puts it out for a Georgia throwing. And Taylor wins a header. And wins a second ball. And the third ball. And oh! Oh, it's a scab ball. It's a scab free kick. Right, sir. Yeah, that was a handball. It's a free kick in the other half. Sergi, sorry. Leo goes into Jordan's feet. Jordan's away. He goes wide, good overlap from Jordan Chambers. Gets to the byline, just plays the ball back to Sasse. Sasse now, and back to Jordan. Just back inside. He needs to get back onto his right foot, and he gives a ball possession. Maybe he would have been better off swinging his left foot at that and getting the ball across. Nathan George, nine. Here's the ball. Great turn by Jordan Trinity Line. It's just pass is just short. Well, I'm just starting well. That boy's quick. Sassy gets down the left hand side, crosses the ball. Goes across all the way to South. Good move. This point in finish with a good move. Seth just caught, got caught leaning back on the shot there, but it was great play, great to watch. Started with Naeem, who sprayed the ball out wide. And then Jordan Trinity Lang cut the ball through to uh, Sasse, who breaks down the left hand side and then plays a low cross and comes through to Seth and he just leans back and puts it over the bar. Scad back in possession with Sasse once again. And Jordan Chambers, who's seen a lot of the ball the first half, looks like he's. Oh, oh, okay, right, calm down. Excited on his whistle there. There's <laughs> a scud free kick in the Georgia half. And now we've got 
Sesse, Leo and Jordan Chambers over the free kick. Maybe got the plan. I didn't think it was ever going to work, but Jordan Chambers shot down the line, and the Georgia defence just literally watched him and didn't budge. So Theo did play the ball down the line. It was Sesse who played the ball down the line, and Jordan Chambers basically had the free cross of the ball. But it did end up in the keeper's hands, and away came Georgia in the midfield. It goes out to the left back, but great challenge, great challenge, Jordan Chambers. Aged does well there, he gets hit after the play. Good feet by his uh, skins his man. And wins a corner for the Bees. This is best for the Bees, this is what I like to see. <coughs> Sense of urgency from Scott there, playing really well. Start of the first five minutes of this game really, really well. Well, of the second half, I should I say. I'm sure the crowd will be pleased with this as well. This is what they come for. And it's a great corner. It's away, but it's still wandering. It forced it. Oliver, but oh, it's a good clearance. Oliver manages to get a shot off, and it was on target, but it was cleared by the number three. Uh, one of the centre halves couldn't quite see from here. And it was a good clearance in the end, but it's a scad throwing deep in the Georgia half. Just going to start getting names on the ball. Plays it low. Ricocheted. Jordan Chambers. Jordan Chambers. Good ball. Jordan Chambers plays a good ball over the top to Sassy. He pins it on his left foot. Plays a good ball to Pierre. Back to Sassy. He just keeps ball. Well done, Sassy. And Oliver's on the ball now. He played. Oh, 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 it's an own goal. It was a great ball in though by Oliver, I must say. Plays a dangerous ball in. The defender he had to deal with it, and unfortunately, it comes off the top of his head and he just sends it over the top of the keeper into the top corner. 3 1 to Scad. <laughs> and I must say, it's been coming. It's been coming. I mean, if the defender didn't put it in. It looked like, I'm not sure what scab player it was, but there was a scab player just behind who was also there to be going to be there to head the ball in. So I think either way it was going to be a scab B's goal. That's a good ball. The pace of the um, scab's defence got tested there, but they did deal with it. This is Ali's first touch of the game, and he's just taking his time. So this is a six-second rule. He drops the ball now. Oh, and Jordan could be in here. Jordan turns the line. Oh, but the defender gets there and covers. And it's another scad. This is much better from scad. This is what we want to see. And Taylor's on the ball now. Plays a good ball inside the field. He's getting out on the ball a lot as well. This is always going to be dangerous if that man gets on the ball. Just for Sasse tumbles over there, just loses his balance. Oh, oh! <laughs> There's a bit of a scuffle between the, <laughs> the the German and the the number 21 for Georgia. There's a Georgia free kick. There wasn't a lot in it, but it's a George going to be a George free kick on the halfway line, right on the halfway line actually. Over there on the bench, there, Coach Langhorn wrapped up well, obviously for the Bugs. The Georgia player deep ball, great header by Jordan Chambers, probably the smallest player on the pitch. Great leap, and he just plays the ball. And here comes Phil Angus now, and Jordan plays the ball down the left wing for Jordan. He made a great overlapping run for him, but it just goes unmissed. 
Yeah, it does get back on the ball. Plays a clever little ball back into Naeem. Naeem just plays keep ball to Sergi. I'm seeing a lot of... Oh, oh, well done, Jordan Chambers. Good turn away from the defender by Sasse. Oh, he's trying, to, he's trying to play a clever little back heel there, but gets put out. And then Taylor fouls inside the George Ha. Oh, we're having some uh, commotion with uh, the Georgia coach. Uh, didn't seem too happy about something. I think he wants to see a card. Yes. Oh, I can't hear him. Oh, I think what he's saying is every time they get a breakaway, scad foul. I mean, they haven't really had a breakaway the whole game, so I don't know what he's really talking about. If he wants to call four and want a breakaway, that's fine. And I mean four on one, being one Georgia player and four scad players. Kick. Up. Wins the ball with the challenge. Referee, he's won the ball. Oh, he's not happy with that, the, uh, the scouser. Right. Name's been booked. Maybe he was showing his studs a little bit. Somebody would get away with it in England. But here, yeah, maybe not so much. And there was a bit of back chat from him. The referee didn't like that, so I was I was thinking that he was going to see red, but luckily he didn't. Oh, Sergi, be careful, be careful. Good lad, sir. Good cover. So it's going to go line here. Unlucky, unlucky, sir. Get your head up, mate. You're playing well. the first shot of Georgia maybe had well since a goal and it does go wide on the left post Scad just need to regroup here settle down maybe the captain needs to get hold of um, Naeem a little bit and just have a word he's still talking about that challenge he needs to let that go now turn by AJ's. Referee, come on. That's a free kick. He's, he's off. Yeah, he was offside. How is that not a free kick for AJ? We probably got kicked four or five times. But Scad to eventually get a free kick, but it was for offside. Sergi Suarez over that. Someone comes. You know, he's going to go along with this one. Oh, no, he's not. He sees a gap to Taylor. And Jordan turns line, picks the ball up and bursts. It's nice to see. Oh, great. Oi! Oh, yeah, rightly so. Oh, and it's getting a bit um, card happy now, the referee. Bring this yellow card out left, right, and centre. But it was a free kick, but I couldn't say it was a booking. But it's a scad free kick, and it's just on the left hand. On the left-hand side of the 18-yard box, I'd probably say, well, from here, I can't really tell, maybe 20, 22 yards out. Sasse in field's over it, but it looks like it's going to be Sasse. And it is Sasse. Plays a great ball. Oh, oh, and it's at the corner. Naeem gets to have a good position, and it ricochets off him. <laughs> Head and goal woods. But the Georgia player just managed to get his head on it and just heads it over the top of the bar. I'd like to see Scad get a bit of their momentum back, put a bit more pressure on this Georgia defence. They did start this half well and did get another goal. 
I'd like to see a few more tonight. And Jordan Chambers is coming off for a rest. And on comes Torrey Melville, the number seven. That's another good ball in from Sasse. Oh! And it drops in the box and it just escapes on the feet of Naeem. And the keeper goes long. Scad need, do need to be careful letting that ball drop in between, behind the defenders. They don't have one sweeping. I just feel that they need to be very careful there because they didn't have the cover they needed. I'm just wondering now if there's, uh, if there's something up with... Uh, Will Oswin, I haven't seen him tonight. Don't know if he's carrying a bit of a knock. He's got his kit on and he looks like he's ready to go. But I, uh, I'm not sure what the problem is there. But anyway, back to the game. He picks the ball up inside the Scads half and plays it to the left fullback Taylor, who clears his lines. And Jordan, good touch by Joe. Referee, come off it. The referee gives a free kick for a handball. Bit petty by the referee there, really. Jordan was getting pushed to the back. It wasn't his fault, but it is a Georgia free kick and just inside the Scads half. Let's see how they pick it up here. There's two men. And see the number eight. Oh, Oliver does pick him up. In, in the back. Well done, referee. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Who has gone off? Let me work this out. Jordan Chambers has come over to the... He's playing right fullback still. And who... Uh, oh! Probably a wise choice. It looks like they've took Naeem off and put Sese in there, into the middle. Which I think is a good choice because he was getting a... A little bit hot-headed. Um, the last thing we'd need to see is him get a red card tonight. And the ball goes out to Jordan Chambers on the right. Plays a looping ball, but that's going to be keepers all day. Just a bit too much air on that. As Gaffer would say, too much snow on that one. And Georgia come out with the right wing, but they're going to play that long ball again. And this time Oliver just picks it up and picks out Taylor with his head. So this has plenty of time. And AJ just getting involved again. There he goes down the line with his pace. Oh, and he beats it. Yeah, it's a good, yeah, good decision, referee. He just getting me on his one, but the centre half, or was it the right foot? No, it was the centre half. For Georgia, just gets a vital toe in and pokes it out for the corner. <coughs> Fifteen minutes played to the first half, and it's three-one to Scott. Who have deserved it? They have been a better team. Just a one mistake, letting Georgia get back in the game earlier on. Comes out to feel on the edge. And Seth's got a bit of room here to attack. And he will attack. But he doesn't know. He drops back in the end out to Sassy. And Jordan Chambers gets up. And Sassy plays a good ball to feel. I'd like to see him shoot. But he goes out wide to Torren. Taylor goes back to Torren. Oh, oh, the flag's gone up. Good ball, Torren Melville. But the flag did go up. It's a good look, but Jordan Trinch line was just offside. Okay, it's number 21. We've got two, two of their players tackling each other here. Play 21 players, no, nothing more. But he does hold his hands up for the mistake. And Scad come back out of possession. Good feet by Taylor, but that's dangerous. That's dangerous play. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor got a little lucky there. He shouldn't have been carrying the ball in defence there. He didn't have the cover. And he did end up getting caught out. And he just needed to be a little bit careful there. 
When Scott are playing a better team, they could get punished for that. Ali needs to be a little bit faster there as well. The right fullback was on, he wants to go long. And eight, but he does go long when AJ does get the ball. <laughs> Number four just tries to crash into AJ, he just bounces off AJ. <sighs> Unlucky AJ. And he does play across and Torrin Melville manages to keep the ball in. Bit of, bit of trickery from Torrin. And he decides to go short to Taylor, which is a good decision. Taylor plays the ball. What's the referee get? He's given a free kick for just a push in the back from AJ. He does win the header, but he does also nudge the defender. And George gets back underway. To the right full back. Good feet. Good feet by the Georgia right winger. But that's good pressure from Sassi. Sass got the ball now. Good ball. Well played, Sev. Now we've got Sassi. I'm sure he's going to shoot. Well, he, he decides against it and he just over overplays his pass to Jordan. And maybe I'd have liked to see his left foot there shoot. This keeper has been a, a little dodgy, I'd say. Shoulder to soldier. Oh, was it in his face? Sasse showing that he's uh, been in the gym there. And Tottenham picks the ball up in the middle. Good decision. And T S S Sassy picks the ball up and eight, with acres of space to get into. Get in that space, Sassy. And he goes out wide. Sorry, Melvo takes his first touch. Beat him. Shoots and it just goes over the left hand side of the crossbar. But it was a good move from Skag. Sassy picked the ball up. He had 20, 30 yards of space to run into. He did get into the space. But maybe I'd like to have seen a couple of uh, better runs off the ball. Or maybe even in. The strikers maybe open out wide to make a bigger hole for Sassi to get into so he could have had the shot. But nevertheless, it's a goal kick to Georgia. And Georgia are just making a substitution. It looks like they've changed their centre midfielders up. I hope he's as good as uh, his boots, the centre midfielder, bright pink and green. Good feet by Theo Angus in the middle there and then gets the ball simple. And Jordan Chambers now getting back on the ball. Goes out wide to AJ. And he carries his run on the overlaps, gets all the way up there. Plays a good ball back. Oh, Tyre what? Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, I got, I got caught watching them. <laughs> all sorts going on. They hit the bar, they hit someone's shins. They hit Everything but the back of the net there, Scott. Theo comes inside on his left foot. Plays a good ball. To oh, and that just rolls through to the keeper. Scott literally hit everything but the net there. They hit the crossbar, they hit the defender's shin, they hit their own teammate's shin. Everything in the, in the opposition's six yard box, but they just didn't hit the net. It's going to be a George for him. Oh, it does tell me that something's up with Will Oswin. He's got his tracksuit on now. Don't know if he's carrying a little bit of a knot from training, maybe. But let's hope we get him fully recovered for the next game. And Jordan picks a ball up. Just plays. Scott needs to start keeping the ball a little bit again. And they need to also get him down, get him down this um, right-hand side because their left side for Georgia is weak, very, very weak. And Jordan Chambers has already had enough joy. Down that right hand side, the left Georgia side. And I think that uh, he could be getting even more joy now. And in comes Inaki. 
given AJ a rest by the looks of it. He's pushed Seth up front and Naki into the centre midfield. The pressure from Scab. Oh, the great touch by the referee. Best touch of the game. Unfortunately, he passed it straight to a purple shirt after that. That's oh. Well, a bit of possession from George, uh, Georgia. Uh, they get the ball out to the right full back. Good cover by Scott. They're breaking a lot quicker now, Scott. It's better. It's a good ball. And then Mackie gets down that right wing. If he can keep it in. He slides. Oh, it's still in. Still in play. Georgia back in possession, number eight, centre field. It's been disappointing tonight. But just play a good ball there, to be fair. Well played, Taylor Katsanis. Tyler Melville comes away with the ball. And it's a Georgia ball. They've just come off the heel of Tyler Melville there. Georgia on the right-hand side. Great challenge. Good challenge by Taylor Katsanis. That's a challenge I personally like to see in the first couple of minutes, to let that winger know that he's going to be in for a game. But nevertheless, it was a good challenge. And this could be a good break. Naki, get wide. And Naki just keeps the ball. I've just entered the Georgia half, but they've decided to play. Bit of keep ball now. I don't mind this. Patient build up. Georgia have changed their keeper. Someone's birthday in the crowd. Can I happy birthday being sung? Crowd getting excited here. Go on, Jordan. He does win the ball, Jordan. It's Seth now. And then Naki gets forced out wide. Referee. What's that number 13 doing for them? What a silly free kick to give away. Naki's going nowhere. Oh, and the 13's just decided to push him in the back and give him a free kick in a dangerous position. And Sasse's left foot is going to be over this. And he goes to Inaki. Played a good ball across. Falls to Phil Angus. Oh, he strikes it. Oh, and it's gone in. <laughs> it's probably going to go down to bad goalkeeping, but the captain has got on the score sheet, and I must say he's deserved it tonight because he has had a good game. But the substitution, the goalkeeper, he's got to uh, put himself to blame for that one as he lets it slip through his hands. <coughs> Scad comfortable now. 19 minutes left on the clock, and it's 4 1 to the Bees. Little cheer from the crowd. Four one. And the captain gets his goal. Like I said, well deserved. He has had a good game tonight. And there he is again winning the ball back for Scad. And Seth comes away with the ball. It's all Scad going for another one. Great ball by John Chinty line out to wide to Tori Melville. Get up. It's fired across. Oh, good defending. 
It's back out again. Oh, oh. Keeper did well that time. That's good pressure from Scad. They could have quite easily been 5 1. And it's a corner to Scad, and Sesse will be whipping this one in. Oh, it's a clash of studs. But the ball just goes out to the right fullback. And the right fullback clears it to Georgia, but it's a scad throw in the half of the Georgia. In the Georgia half, should I say. Good touch by Jordan. Oh, it's a great ball. Great ball, Jordan. Showing his technical ability there with that ball. Sasse is on the ball. He's going to come inside. Good touch by Jordan Chambers. Nice feet. But he just gets pushed off the ball. But he does win it back, but he just puts it out for a Georgia goal kick. Well, looking over at the scoreboard now. Exactly the same as when these two guys met earlier in the... Um, in the season, it was 4 1 to Scad. Good feet by Tom Melville. It's a little bit lucky with Ricochet, but Scad has still got the ball. So Scad may work on a little bit his corners. They haven't seemed to fret too much off corners and they've got some big boys. And out come George with the ball, but only as far as Yanaki who just picks that up in the centre field. Sergio Suarez has got a man on. Good feet. Good feet by Sergio and a good pass. Well played. Oh. Good ball by Sesse. I thought Seth was through then. Well, he was. But the ball just skipped away. A slight grease on the service tonight. Ideal playing conditions. And the ball's out for a scad throwing. Just over 15 minutes left of the game. We're just waiting for a uh, Georgia substitution. And balls with Taylor Katsanis. Scad left fullback. Inside the Scad half. Goes up the line. Great touch by Jordan. He's going to play the switch. He does play the switch nicely. Out to Anaki. He's got Seth inside. He does see that and he does play that. Seth has time to turn. He's got acres. Come on, punish him for that. He plays a good ball out wide as well, Seth. Out to Torrin Melville. Torrin beats his man with ease. Plays a good ball across. Oh! Great effort. Good by Scad. Much better. And they immediately win the possession back as well. The ball's back on Seth. Seth coming into his own now. Oh, he's beating men with ease. He goes past one. Oh, that's a good challenge in the end corner. Maybe he should have just pushed the ball across there. But it's good to see. It's great feet by the, the uh, small little centre midfielder. Very tricky though, very tricky. Don't be fooled by his height. Trademark drop of his shoulder. Had to kick him a couple of times and train him myself. Not intentionally, of course. Now again, Scad. Wasteful corner. 
think there's certainly room for improvement on the corners for Scott. Jordan Chambers. Oh. Time. Trick, trickery from Theo gets a crowd up on their feet. Oh, I don't like to see Theo get in that space. Oh, yeah. oh we've got a free kick. Sasse runs across. Right. Who's going to take it? But the captain, Sasse. Could be a Sasse trademark here. Likes this area. Goal here. Oh, the keeper deals with it. Oh, Ty George went off there. And the right full back with the ball. Scott put the ball up with Oliver. Comes, keeps it simple. Goes out to Taylor Katsanis. He's going to come back inside. There's a switch on. Sides go left. He's been very involved in this game today. Been very impressed with the captain. He's back on the ball now. Turns his man for fun. He wins a free kick, and I think he'll fancy this one himself. He deserves it. And he is over it, but a little bit far out. They play it quickly. Well done, Torin. Is it a good cross as well? Oh. And Oliver's up. Oh, takes a touch. He strikes one. Oh, and it just goes to the left of the post. Nice piece of skill by the big German. Brings it down on his chest. Gets it onto his favourite left foot and shoots, but it just, well. Not just, it goes about 10 foot wide, but it looked good from here. Oh, AJ. Oh, AJ. Oh, unlucky. It's a scared corner. AJ's work where it causes so many problems for defenders. It's just constantly in your face. Here comes Fiala. I'd like to see a shot here. Comes on his left foot and back on his right. He goes out wide to Jordan Chambers. Takes a touch. Passes out wide to Sergi. But the defender gets across and falls to the corner. It's a scag corner. <laughs> Ten minutes left to this game. Go short, Jordan Chambers. He's got space. Back to Sasse. Sasse's just going to go back to four. Puts up a great ball across. The flag's gone up on the side. The ball did go forward from the back of the.
can't really hope it as much. I'll just have to take a short break there. It's a Georgia 3K in their own half. Oh, they've got to be careful there, Scott. Ball drops in between them. Jordan Chambers comes across. Good touch by Sasse. Scad, oh, got to play a bit of keep ball now by the looks of it. Eight minutes to go. Oh, but it's a missed pass by Taylor. That's a free kick. Don't need to give that free kick away there. He's going away towards his own goal. Okay, give him a little bit of pressure. You don't need to kick him. You can hear Coach Melville shouting back to the game plan. <sighs> John Chambers picks the ball up at the right fullback position. Just keep ball. AJ made a clever little run there, but it doesn't. Just goes back to the keeper. And now, yes. Put the keep ball. That's unlucky. Throwing just inside the Scouts half. Um, Georgia haven't really offered much as her. It's been pretty easy for Scad. And number eight, eight takes a, a shot from 40 yards. Bit ambitious, but hey, uh, it was a shot. Good talking about Jordan Chambers there. <laughs> Sassy on his bike, but the number four is across there. And as I said about the possession. Coach Melville just shouts out game plan possession. I would like to see the sky keep the ball for the last six minutes now. Oh, if it, oof, good feet by the captain. It was a bit of a wild shot. It was well wide of the right post. George go long. They've got to be careful there. Time out as well. Oh, it's good defending number four. And away comes George with the ball, but it's given away. Good play by AJ. AJ couldn't be playing better, playing well at a better time after the disappointing news from with uh, John McAlino. Unfortunately, he's going to be out for a while by the looks of it, which is a devastating blow for Scad, being such a key player. Oh, the referee shows a card. It's an unnecessary referee. Didn't need to do that. It's won the ball there. Job and Ch Chambers shows the emotion. <laughs> gets him nothing but a yellow card. So it's a free kick, Georgia free kick. Jordan Chambers comes out with the ball. It's a good ball into AJ. Well, that's too casual, that. Well played. Good play by the full team there. Good challenge by AJ, who's tracking back all the way into the midfield. 
to put a challenge on there, centre back and got forward. Don't dive in. Some firm words from the captain there to the goalkeeper Ali. Just about talking. Sassy's he's on it going on, he's on his bike here. It's a man possessed. Oh. Just does it, doesn't work. Coach Melville continues to shout, get back to the original game plan. I can't, I don't know why Sky aren't doing that. There's a few minutes left, just keep ball. Don't put any unnecessary pressure on yourselves. And here come Georgia, it's a waste of ball. Just get up, lay it off, lay it off. Cherry's back in the ball. He's had a good game tonight. So very much in charge of that right forward position. Oh, unlucky. Good ball by Seth. Good touch by AJ, but it just drops behind him his touch instead of in front of him. But it was a difficult uh, takedown on his chest. Charlie gets on the bay line. Oh! Ooh! Oh, that's a goal kick. A little over a minute left. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a 4-1 scoreline. Just exactly the same when the two sides met earlier on in the season. <coughs> oh. Georgia make one final change. Very consistent to like Jordan Chambers. Seth goes to the middle. He strikes on his left foot, why not? It does go wide, but nothing wrong with that. Oh, and the goalkeeper, ooh, he got lucky there. And 30 seconds left. He's waiting for the whistle now. Tyler comes back, should just roll the keeper in here. He decides against it. Just plays the ball out. 20 seconds. The crowd having a sing here. Singing na 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 na. Goodbye. Shame it's took him to the last eight seconds to be vocal tonight. Right. And there's the final whistle. Wish Georgia safe travels back. Well done, Scott, on the win. And I will be with you again next game. The Bees win 4-1. to one. Good night.